guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. So today I wanted to show real quickly um, a new digi kit that I have at the Etsy store. And um, I hope you like it. I think it's pretty cool. So I had been seeing a lot of uh, film slide, like retro film slide projects, like using actual old retro film slides which is super cool if you have them if you don't have them however you might want some so i opened up photoshop as as i do i created my own photo slide frames they look very similar to the originals uh, but I use my own fonts and my own backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. So let me show you what they look like. So as you can see, there are three different styles. There's a front and a back, which are interchangeable. And it prints out six slides, for the fronts and the backs of six total on each page. So we have this one. That's just like a pale ivory and teal. This one has the red. And then this one is just a mixture of yellow and teal. Uh, and as you can see, it is processed by the Kodiak company. Uh, not, not Kodak. It's, it's Kodiak. It's my company. <laughs> I didn't want Kodak on me, so, uh, so we're gonna be Kodiak. But anyway, they're super cute, right? So I printed this one on matte photo paper. So you get a nice, crisp, clear image if you set your printer to print, you know, high quality photo paper. If you do not want um, such a crispy, crispy, perfect image, you have a couple of different options. This, actually, I printed on mixed media paper. So just a you know, a pad of mixed media paper. It's kind of, kind of thick. This is the pad of mixed media paper. Um, I have already gleaned the the covers. The covers are gone, but I uh, I think it was Canson, if I remember correctly. Just their standard mixed media paper it wasn't anything special. So that's for the the outsides, the the frames. Okay. So for the slides themselves on the inside, I printed on three different things to show you different, different, uh, you know, options. So this one was printed on printable vellum. And this is the one that you can get at, where did I get this? I think I got this on Amazon. I think it's already on my favorites page. I think it's been on my favorites page. So uh, this one is the Gartner vellum sheets, and it says on the on the label that is compatible with most printers. So take that for what it's worth. <laughs> um, so I printed on on the vellum. I think it did. A fairly fabulous job you can still see through it it's still translucent for sure and what I did then when that was after I printed was I coated the front and the back with the semi-gloss clear acrylic you know spray paint sealer and that just gave it a little bit more of a of a sheen to it because the, the photo slides do have a sheen to them and I think maybe it makes it a little bit more translucent as well. That's what this is what the back looks like so you can still see the image uh, fairly clearly even even on the back side and that's what you want. You want to be able to flip them because um, they're two-sided. Here is the tracing paper that I printed on and then I did the glassine technique with the semi-gloss. And here is the back of that one. Again, nice, 
super, super, super nice. Forgive the, the smear of ink. I had put a piece of tracing paper in my printer and it got, you know, got all eaten up. So, and that happens sometimes. So what I did to, for this one was I took a piece of just regular cardstock and I took some glue and I just touched barely, 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 barely the edge. Of course, now I can't find my, my oh, here it is, it's hiding. I just used this one because it has the super fine tip on it. And I just dot, 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 uh, glue along the top and the bottom edge. And I glued it down to the, um, the cardstock so that it would feed through the printer nicely. And then after that was done, I left it attached to the cardstock and I gave it a spray of the uh, semi-gloss sealer. And I let that dry and then I peeled it off the cardstock and I flipped it over and I did the other one. It has a smear of ink because I did not run a piece of paper through the printer after I had gotten one eaten, but that's okay because I kind of like this. It, it's kind of a happy accident because in the kit you'll see that there are photographs. I've provided photographs to put in your slides if you don't have any of your own but I also provided these blank film clips so that, cause maybe you don't want all of them to have pictures in them. Maybe you want some old, you know, overexposed looking film. And because this one has some smearings on it, it makes it look like it, you know, got messed up and didn't, didn't process right. My favorite, however, is gonna be on the transparency film. Oh, it's so beautiful just clear let me see if i can get the camera there it goes just, i'm we're talking this is what you know this is what the film looks like in the in the retro in those slides this is what that's what it looks like so so cool right this is um let me grab it great white inkjet transparencies I happened to get these at a thrift store for a buck ninety nine. They hadn't even been opened yet, so I kind of lucked out. But I will put some um, printable transparencies on my Amazon favorites page, and I'll even try to find the great white. There are some other brands. There's one called Apollo that is very, very highly rated for putting through printers, inkjet or or laser, either one. But what's so nice about these is they come with a little piece of tape on the edge, so it just feeds right through the printer. I had absolutely no problem whatsoever, and wow, they are just phenomenal looking. Just, just so cool. Just makes you want to cry, man. Okay, so, oh, and the tracing paper I used was Seth Cole. Just regular tracing paper, not the not the coated kind, just the regular cheapo stuff. It says it's 25 pound, so. Depending on the look that you are going for as far as the frames are concerned, you know, feel free to, you know, whatever floats your boat or man. I'm gonna go cut all these out and then we will cut out the, the black middles and we'll put some together. Okay, I'm back. I cut it all out and, uh, I've got some little samples here to try. So to make this easy on yourself, I'm gonna make a couple suggestions as I do. I have this little square punch. And while it's not the same size as the black square in the middle, it's gonna get you pretty close. And I believe this is a half inch square and if you have a one inch square, that would be fabulous. I don't think I do. Anyway, this is, this is what I would do. So just grab a couple that are the same and try to pick two that you cut out similarly. Sometimes, sometimes we cut too much off or you know how it goes, you know, you know the drill. And I'm just gonna put them back to back. So just line those up and I'm gonna clip on that end. I'm gonna grab my 
art glitter glue because it has the tiny little you know little, little metal tip at the end that has a bunch of dried glue on it now because I didn't wipe it off when I used it a few minutes ago and I'm just going to open up one end and I'm just going to just barely put some little dots of glue just along the very 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 edge of one side and just close that down try not to go too far you know up this is just to hold it closed give that just a second and then I'm going to take my little half inch punch and I just line it up the outside so it's showing just barely a rim Can you see that so it's it's not on the all on the black but there's a tiny little rim of of the outside showing and I punch it and then I move over to the next corner and again line it up so that I see a little tiny sliver of the off-white around it and punch it out and then do all four corners the same and then to finish it up you can either take some scissors and cut across bottoms and the top however it is or you could use a craft knife and then if you have anything that's slightly off you can just go in there and snip off any little extra edges that you see that maybe it didn't line up perfectly so I'm going to try, I think, a transparency first. So here is one. And I'm going to slide it down to fit it down into the photo frame here. And because the picture is a little bit bigger than it needs to be, you have some elbow room, elbow room so you can kind of mess around with it a little bit before it's you know, set in stone. So maybe you want it a little higher, a little lower, maybe a little left to the right, whatever. So there is that. Let me grab my glue again. And I'm just going to hold that open. I'm going to dot some glue in here. Don't need a lot. I'm sure I put entirely too much. As the huge. And close that down. Let me get a white piece of paper. There we go. That looked great. So that's the transparency, the film transparency. I'm gonna flip it over. And with the film transparency, it looks good. Uh, doesn't matter which way because it's basically the same on both on both sides. That is particularly lovely. And where's my? You know, if you want to ink the edges, now would be the time. I highly suggest it. It does make it look lovely it makes it look nice to put a little bit of ink on the edge oh and this is a makeup brush by the way it's kind of fabulous for uh, ink uh, not gonna lie heaven knows I never used it for makeup so there was the transparency now let's grab um, another one and this one will be, let's get a vellum, vellum, vellum. How about this dapper gentleman? 
and his it looks like maybe a Springer Spaniel it's a Spaniel of some kind I get this the Springer Spaniel and what's the other one that's just like it one's brown and one's black I get them mixed up Springer and I don't remember and then there's the King Charles and and then is there a Cavalier or is that the same as one of the others what now that's gonna bug me the King this uh, what is it the Springer and the that's gonna bug me I will Google that because that's gonna bug me okay so this is the uh, vellum the printable vellum that I had and let me get a piece of white paper and that is the vellum lovely right let's turn it over so it's a little hazier on the back side but still still nice still nice i still like it i really 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 like it so it's a win the link excellent all right so let's try and I'll just grab this one it's of some poppies it's a photograph from Iceland I think like a back in the day photograph. And that is lovely. Put some glue in here. And make sure to dot a couple of dots on top of the on top of the photograph but it doesn't it doesn't matter too much it's not like it's going to go anywhere once this is sandwiched in I did not do as good of a job cutting out this one I'll go ahead and ink it real quick Uh, you could even ink the inside of the frame around around the middle uh, before you put the photo slide in the image film strip clip if you wanted to and this just kind of dirties up the edge makes it looks like a few hands were touching it over over a time grab some white paper And there is the glassine tracing paper. And there's the back side, which is like the other one, a little hazy, but still, still not bad. Uh, I wouldn't kick any of them out of bed for eating crackers. Okay. So, I think any of these would be a win win no matter which one you use. I think they would all be a, a good idea whatever material you have on hand so you're thinking okay this is great now what, what am i supposed to do with these things well you can do all kinds of things with them i mean i was thinking you know grandma brag book right so i took a eyelet and i punched a hole and inserted an eyelet in the corner and then these are the little Tim Holtz little hinged rings. Erg. You can open them up. So you could put several on there and put them on a ring. And you could have them on your keychain or <laughs> think of the possibilities. You could send these as gifts to friends and family. They're, I just think they're adorable. I think they're adorable. You could even make up a whole bunch and don't just don't glue you glue the top 
and leave leave the bottom and the sides open and go ahead and put a you know an eyelet in them if, if that's what you wanted to do and then you could you know mass produce those and then get your photos ready slip those in close them up and Bob is your veritable uncle I just think they're adorable what is it about small things small little things it just kinda rocks my world always 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 I am a sucker for anything miniature or small and if it's retro it's even better so that is this kit um, it is now at um, the Etsy store and whether you print on printable vellum or the tracing paper for the glassine or the printable film transparencies either way it's going to look great uh, I love the way the the photo paper took the the frames the images for the frames that I built in Photoshop and also the mixed media paper and uh, the the presentation paper the brochure paper which was the hammer mill digital cover color copy something and depending on the look that you're going for you can decide for yourself which one of these floats your boat right so I hope you like it um, like I said if you're going to be printing your own photographs your own peoples then just make sure that you uh, crop down the picture resize it down to one inch high by one and a half inches wide you can if you're on windows you can do that in paint 3d by going to the canvas tool up on top I believe I made a video several months ago I will link that down below it shows you how to resize objects so so you can do that um, Let's say you can't get it a perfect one and a half by one inches, but it's close. Well, it's okay. Don't worry about it because it's, part of it's going to be hidden behind the frame anyway, and you can trim it down to whatever. Just make sure that whatever it is in the photograph that you want to highlight, that that will still be in the middle. So it can even be bigger if you want. Um, when you look at the the kit the photos in the kit they are not all the same size but I wanted to give you wiggle room maybe you want to shift a photograph over one way or the other maybe you like the way it is shifted one way or the other so that's why I made them a little bit bigger and then don't forget to leave some excess around the edge if it's a smaller photo and it is near the size then definitely leave um, a border of whatever you printed on all the way around all right, well, I hope you like these um, retro, but not retro because they're brand new because I just built them, but they look retro. I think they look pretty good. I tried to use the same uh, retro vintage fonts that they used back in the 60s and 70s when they were making these. I think it would be cool with your family photos in it. Could you imagine a whole set of like vacation photos? I mean, it would take a minute. It would be a labor of love. But, ugh, what a gift for a grandma. Or, oh, she'd just die. She'd die. She'd love it. Be these tiny little things. Now, you'd have to send a, a magnifying glass with it. Or one of those photo slide things where you can, where you can stick, where they used to put the little rotary, Oh, what were they called the little rotary photo projector because it was for putting up on a projector I have not put these in a projector but now I kind of want to try it to see what what happens should that happen should I find one somewhere if somebody one of you has one at home and you make these and you put it in your slide projector rotary thingy please let me know I would love to see it that would rock my world if it actually worked. I'm thinking the one with the transparency would would be the one that would work the best because the light has to shine through it. And the the tracing paper uh, vellum 
uh, glassine technique and the printable vellum, they're probably not clear enough. They probably have too much opacity to them. They're too hazy to show up clear. But the film transparency, I might be able to get away with it. Okay. All right. Challenge thrown. If somebody accepts it, please let me know. All right, guys, it was a pleasure hanging out with you today. I have a stack of books I am working on and I need to get back to work, but I will see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys.